<laughs> We've been impeached. We've been charged with corruption or facing 15 years in prison. Hey guys, it's Tanya here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am becoming the president of the United States of America. I will be the first Canadian woman <laughs> to become the president. This update, you guys, I've been playing around with the past few days. I really didn't want to rush to get it out. I wanted to take my time with it, see what it entails, see what you can actually do. And I wanted to play around with it a little more so I could actually like help you guys become president and stuff. And so for the purpose of this video, even though I'm Canadian, I'm gonna try and become the president of the United States for all my American subscribers out there. And I think I'm just gonna show you guys like some of the tips and tricks that I learned with this politics update. It's, it's one of the coolest updates I've done yet, for sure. Okay. So with that being said, it is time for today's post notification shout out. And that goes to Brianne Robertson. Thank you so much for turning on my notifications. Remember, if you guys want a shout out in one of my videos, I do post notification shout outs at the beginning of every single one of my videos. And if you ever want to be shouted out, just turn on notifications for my channel. Make sure you're subscribed, obviously. And then just let me know in the comments down below when you're done. I made sure I dolled myself up this video because it is like a big deal to have the first ever Canadian female president of America. Okay, so I'm gonna be a female. I'm gonna be from the US. I'm not familiar with most of the states in the states. Isn't Washington where the White House is? And for the name, I feel like I want it to be like Beyonce. Beyonce Grande. Let's give her like nice eyebrows. Um, yeah, that looks good. It's Beyonce Grande. Okay, we're gonna be the first woman president ever. Just saying. One thing about this challenge is you gotta hope that you're smart. Because if you're not, you're gonna have to read a bunch of books to get there because we gotta go to school. But I will get into that when we get there. But let's hope, I'm not even gonna look. Forgot to mute that. Basically, what you wanna do is you want your stats to be as good as possible. People are shallow. You need smarts to get into school and people are gonna appreciate an attractive leader, unfortunately. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna age up to the point where I get to university and then I'll get back to you guys. So I'm about to turn 18, but basically you wanna make sure that you get a part-time job to like make some cash. Basically, you wanna make enough money as possible until you actually do run for president because you wanna be able to like afford your campaign. Also, try not to get in any trouble or anything. Try to maintain your school grades and to get your smarts up to 100 by reading books and stuff and so now i'm just gonna age right so i graduated and we're gonna apply to political science for university and hopefully we get a scholarship Ooh. <laughs> parents please See, that sucks, because now we have a loan and now we're in debt, technically. We're gonna maintain our part-time job as a swim instructor, and every year I'm gonna make sure I study harder. Okay, so we've graduated political science, and now I am going to apply to law school, okay? And apply for scholarship. Why are they giving me a scholarship? Please, dad. See, they refuse. So now I'm in debt. But basically now I'm just gonna age until I get around like a million dollar net worth or even like 500,000. Go to law school for two years, become a lawyer, and then try and make as much money as possible for like 30 years so that I have enough money to run a campaign. And no, I'm not trying to do crime. You're trying to keep your like, uh, what is it called? Your reputation as clean, crisp and clear as possible because you don't want anything to like be used against you for your campaign and stuff. Let's see how much longer do we have. We have one more year left of law school so I'm gonna graduate, look for a job, and we're gonna become a lawyer. So what are your salary expectations? Um, I expect to be paid fairly. Done. Now I'm gonna quit my part-time job because I don't wanna like die of high blood pressure. I'm just gonna keep working harder every year. That's the key. Keep working harder so you get promoted and to literally age until you have enough money because you can't even run for president until you're 35 anyways. I think I'm gonna do it till I'm around 40, 45 and then run and then win. Literally every year, I'm just gonna work hard and make money. That's the biggest thing is that if you don't have enough money for your campaign, you won't do well. Like I took law school and stuff and political science because you want to get like as much experience as possible and law school is just a good way to make money you don't really need it to become a lawyer but the political science just helps i feel like it was easier for me to like get the jobs even though that might not actually be a thing i feel like it helped i'm literally just gonna age for 15 years and get back to you guys it's literally it Okay, you guys, I actually just aged till I was 50 and I ended up making $700,000 of 
<laughs> As you can see, if you scroll down, <laughs> now we're gonna become president. So now if you scroll down here, a lot of people don't actually know where it is. You go to job and you scroll down and you find political offices. So I'm going to quit my job as a lawyer now because we're good. We, we don't need this job anymore. Uh, retire and take pension, sure. You could just probably apply for president right away, but I kind of want to play around with it first. And so I think I'm just gonna run for state governor first. So we're gonna go with Democrat and healthcare. We're gonna do like 260. We don't want to spend all our money, okay? We need it for the president. This is so cool how it does all this. It shows you their smarts, their money, their ethic. So she's a Green Party, platform is environment. So she's a pretty ethical person. I want like to treat her with respect, honestly. While on the campaign trail, a young girl in a wheelchair approaches you asking that if you get elected, what you would do to make public areas in your state more easily accessible for those with disabilities, okay? Um, we will say that we are planning on it because everybody deserves easy access in public. <laughs> this is so cool. Your campaign team tells you that you could benefit from having a signature drink in your hand at social gatherings. They say that this will help you shape your image. We'll go with a sparkling water. We, we are the state governor. We're a famous politician. You could do the fame stuff. Or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that gets you kicked out of office, if I do say so myself. But now I'm going to show you guys. This is so cool. So this is your agenda. As you can see, it's like the stress level, right? And so I think I'm going to make everything increased to nine, I think. Because I don't want to put... Yeah, I'm running for healthcare, but everything obviously deserves equal... Um, attention because why would we put all our money into healthcare but then like not education so we're gonna do everything oh jokes i think we could do one more hour each as long as the stress isn't red so one thing you want to do as like a tip is you want to read the headlines because i feel like this i don't know if this actually does anything but like in my head it does we see that numerous ufo sightings is there the glass ceiling is more apparent than ever and double rainbow spark viral chase a rainbow challenge see like anytime there's like issues on the headlines you want to make sure in your speeches and rallies you address those issues but these are all just like random titles so this one doesn't really matter but you can also pass new laws but obviously it won't let me but we're gonna do a rally and we're gonna make it maniacal <laughs> Oh, they didn't like that. Wow. Are you expecting me to spend all my money on a rally, sis? So one thing I noticed too is a thing to get like people to care is like you always either want to do alleviate public fears or spread awareness. Because when you're bragging about accomplishments, like no one cares. Like they want to hear that you're addressing it, that you're spreading awareness about it, and that you're telling people it's fine, but you don't want to be like, I'm the best. So we're going to spread awareness for the healthcare system and we're going to do it publicly. See? It's good. And I think we're also going to do the environment. We'll do a television broadcast and we'll alleviate public fears. Because now we can also see our approval rating, right? Like what, 63%? We're pretty good at everything but social issues. We'll do a radio thing on social issues and we'll spread awareness. Beautiful. It's still green, so I'm happy. Oh my god, a law. <laughs> You have made a decision on a new law in your state. Make it a crime to forget the birthday of an immediate family member. See, like, I should veto it, but, like, my heart wants to pass it. Oh, God. A video circulating on social media that shows you dropping a piece of trash onto the ground. People are questioning how an elected politician could be so careless to the environment. We will stage a cleanup party. Oh, my approval went up to 83. Um, approval ratings... That's so good, what? Education and environment were kind of running low. Let me make sure. So we're gonna do a speech for education. We'll do it publicly, we'll spread awareness, and then we'll do the environment, we'll do television and alleviate public fears. <laughs> okay, this is so fun. Let's see the headlines now. See, look, this is all about the environment. Conservationists claim multiple species at risk, so we did the environment, so that helps. Swarming locusts devour farmers' crops, so we did the environment. See how, like, it helps? Okay, let's do another rally. We'll do, like, 100 grand, and we'll make it energetic. Okay? Love that for us. Oh, God, student spending. Okay. A trusted advisor is recommending you to increase the education budget by 30%. He says it may hurt the economy in the short term, but will prove to be significantly beneficial in the long run. I feel like... I feel like we'll just do the 30%, honestly. Oh God, I thought I was getting arrested. The national government has requested that each state do better job enforcing immigration laws as a way to improve national security. How will you react? Pay them lip service, what is that? 
support and enforce request focus on the economical issues instead let's focus on the economy instead I feel like the laws are fine. Cases of heart disease are skyrocketing. Okay, gotta do a speech on healthcare. Spread awareness and we'll do it publicly. Oh God, I need, I should do it to alleviate public fears. Okay, let's do healthcare, television. Beautiful, beautiful. A friend freebie, a good friend of yours just lost her job and is asking if there's any way you could put her on the payroll. That is unethical, goodbye. These situations are so cool, man. Your friend owns a business that sells textbooks to school, and he confides in you that his company has been struggling to compete with the internet. He asks if you'll propose a mandate banning in your state purchasing all textbooks online. Okay, we'll do one more rally, and we'll make it energetic. Okay, awesome. Okay, we'll age now. Term ended. Okay. Good God. I'm going to resign. I'm going to run for president now. I'm so nervous. We're going to be the first female president. Okay, we'll go for healthcare. We'll do like 300,000. I'm on the ballot, bitch. Oh God, <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, so we have our opponent, Allie Pickles. 71, chill. Okay, Socialist Party and Foreign Policy, we'll just treat her with respect. <laughs> These are so cool. While speaking before a large group on the college campus, a student asks you, if elected, what change would you most like to see at the White House? An IMAX movie theater, a statue of myself, a zip line across a property, and a video arcade. I'm gonna go with the zip line. During your campaign, you discover that a campaign assistant has been taken up bribe from an oil lobbyist we will fire them we won <laughs> we won i'm the president i was not expecting it to happen that fast yo i am the president of the united states bitch get on my level i'm not even american i'm canadian oh my god Get to work. That's so cool. Okay, our approval ratings, crime, economy, and foreign policy are trash. Let's organize a rally. How much money do I have? Oh, I don't have a lot of money. Uh, we'll do a maniacal. Oh, people don't like that. Let's look at the headlines. Okay. Man accused of killing a lawyer. Wow. Okay, so that's crime. Citizens criticize president as a national embarrassment. Watch yourself. President of Mongolia denies having an affair with politician. Okay. We are going to do crime and we'll do public and we will spread awareness. Beautiful. And we will also do foreign policy, television, and we will alleviate public fears. Look at me go. I'm a great president. Oh God, you have to make a decision on a new law in your nation. Prohibit calling someone a boomer who is not a boomer. Enticing intern. While working alone at your desk late one evening, you look up to discover a male intern has entered your office. He begins to express sympathy for how hard you've been working lately and asks if he can help you alleviate some stress. Be appreciative but decline. You need to chill. Gas leak causes small explosion in underwear factory. Um, environment please. We're gonna do television and we're gonna... We're gonna alleviate public fears, Jesus. Let's do a rally, okay, we'll do maniacal. Come on guys, I'm trying to be enthusiastic. We'll do environment, we'll do public, and we'll spread awareness. While addressing the nation in a press conference, a reporter asks you how to deal with some of the more aggressive countries around the world. What will I say? Um, we'll either deal with them aggressively, assertively, peacefully, assertively. Internal report indicates that an underprivileged segment of the nation is planning a violent protest in response to a gun safety law. You veto. Why did I veto a gun safety law? I never did that. Tweet a meaningful message. We'll encourage a peaceful protest. People have the right to protest. We need safety, man. <sighs> Passed a law that prohibits people from hiking naked. <laughs> we'll do another rally. We'll make a maniacal again. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm the president. I can do whatever I want. We're okay. Let's check the headlines today. Banks prepare for flood of bad loans. Oops. Chimpanzee is not so intelligent in outer space. Oh gosh. Okay, we need to do the economy now. We will alleviate public fears. Okay. I think they're mad about the economy, people. Live stream and spread awareness. <laughs> a group of college students from Finland offered me $36,000 to do drugs and party with them. I mean, this is my last year's president. It is bit life for a matter of fact. I think we're gonna accept the bribe. Oh, we were caught. <laughs> We've been impeached.
We've been charged with corruption and are facing 15 years in prison. Well, I'm gonna plead not guilty. Ah! <laughs> I was impeached. Not today. While using the bathroom in your office, you overhear one of the housekeepers admit she entered your country illegally and is working without a visa. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore it because I did get away with corruption when I did it. So like, we're gonna... Enjoy your life, girl. Don't worry about it. My mom died. Okay, we'll plan her funeral. She wanted to be cremated, sure. We'll keep them in an urn. How am I? I have depression, wow. How am I still the president? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still a famous politician now. But I'm not president anymore. But that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Could I run again? Is that even a thing? Oh, jokes. How was I removed? Oh. Uh, I was never removed though. Eh, whatever. Honestly, that was so fun. I heard that BitLife is also doing like a business update where you can like make a business, so that's insane. But guys, I literally became president. You can too. <laughs> Just do the tips and tricks I told you. Make sure you choose the most like ethical options if you can. Take political science, become a lawyer if you want or any job. Make a lot of money, campaign, have some fun with it if you want. Do some like weird laws or like take bribes i don't know but guys with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smash the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe down below really appreciate it we're so close to 150,000 subscribers so yeah subscribe i hope you guys are staying safe at home and like i really appreciate the updates that life is doing to help us all like stay distracted and kind of like live our simulated lives through like the actual chaos that's happening in the world so like thank you bit life for this but yeah guys i love you and i'll see you in the next one Peace. Mwah.